Oh, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, I just, I just be like, good morning, go like, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> bro, I hate when fucking like I'm at the game. Up, when the boots come at you, you stand up for raid rest? No, I I tell them not to do that because I'm like, bro, you're making me uncomfortable. I don't I I already got fucking little ass fucking TikTok points looking to me looking up to me because I'm in Hong Kong fuck you, I don't want bro. that shit. I'm on TikTok too. God damn God it! Damn it. God They're everywhere! Damn They're everywhere! It. Fuck! God <laughs> motherfucking damn it! Hold on! Until you see my contact. Your contact? Contact. He sell news. He sell OnlyFans? You only I made one? a... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I, uh, I make this and niggas just be talking shit. Net banging on me. Never. Yeah, like, hey, yo, fool, where you from? Where you from? Pull up, pull up, pull up. I'm, up, I'm over here on first street in the back. <laughs> so you make memes. <laughs> yeah, just about the skinhead subculture. I'd be making fun of this. Bro, I made one t-shirt. I wasn't even making fun of skinheads. And all of a sudden, these oh, fucking motherfuckers are blasting you, bro. Oh, I remember that shit. You dude. know what's so funny? A lot of people like do know me because I'm in the skinhead scene myself. But at the same time, they try to bash me, get me deleted so many times, bro. Bro, I've been, I used to be part Ooh. of the skinhead subculture. I I'm got I got banned because shit. of this. Who who else is happy that they have white laces? And they oh my god, no. The no, lace coat thing? Oh bro, my god. Bro, no, bro. Yeah. Lace coat does not exist in the East Coast. Nobody gives a You've fuck about that. You've probably seen this one though. Yeah. Hey, yo, the the interview. Making TikToks and shit. <laughs> I just sit my beer. Bro, I got like 40, 41 kids. My TikTok got so bad. Alright, you trying to get interviewed, my boy? It was just a whole bunch oh, of girls just dancing. I was like, bro, what is my algorithm or some shit? What Remember, this is root record. Can you change? You it was rock. the same dance right, every time. Bro, I'm like, at first right. it was like, okay, okay, but it was like, right now. what's going on? I know, but you what's, what's going on? I'm like, I had to put like, all right. on every is it recording? Yes, yeah, it's, it's been recorded. Oh, shit. Can you see me? Alright, man, what's your name? What do you do? What's your background? Uh, my name is Rio. Um, I get up. I fucking play bass in Hong Kong. Fuck you. I sing in Basuko. I also sing in Penalty Kill. Um, I play bass in this other band called Intercom, and I just joined another band on bass called Will Make Dope. All right. So, uh, so you you've also mentioned how you're on TikTok and stuff. So, what are some shit you've been seeing that just makes you fucking laugh with these TikTok posts, dude? Man, I ain't, I ain't even on TikTok. I don't give a fuck about the TikTok posts. If you want to fucking be on TikTok, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Just get that shit away from me. I don't associate with that bullshit. How come, man? Cause it's cringe as fuck, dog. <laughs> I mean, you laugh at cringe. That's the best part, man. Yeah, I laugh at cringe, but I don't like actively look for it. You know, it's like, mm. you, like you see cringe like on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, but you don't actually go out there looking for it because at that point you're just an instigator. It's all about doing you, living your life, and just staying away from all that toxic and negative bullshit. So, uh, what is your motivation for uh, making your music? Cause I'm bored and I have nothing better to do and I got shit to say. So yeah. that, that that's what's up, man. So do do you have any opinions that's going on in the music scene? Like what are some things that kind of tick you off a little bit? Uh a lot of things tick me off. Um, honestly, man, like People need to learn how to fucking have proper fucking like pit etiquette. You know, I see all these kids going into the pit fucking swinging like actively like trying to hurt each other. And like, it's not it's about like, you gotta understand at the end of the day, it's fucking dancing. You're out there actually fucking dancing. So if you're gonna fucking move, at least move to the beat, you know? And maybe that's just me being a fucking, I guess, boomer or some shit. I mean, I ain't even that old. I'm 25 years old, but for real, like some of these kids have no fucking etiquette. Some of these kids need to take a fucking shower, for real. Some of these kids need to learn how to use fucking deodorant. Like, goddamn, bro. Like, I know, I know y'all pull to the show. If y'all can finesse like a few fucking bucks to pull to the show, then y'all can finesse a few bucks to go get some goddamn deodorant from the goddamn CBS. Motherfucker. <laughs> so, so what are some, uh, what are some, some things that keep you going in, in the whole music scene to keep you staying in and active? Um, my girlfriend. My fucking homies to my left and right. Uh, fucking just 
me constantly striving to be better than I was yesterday and not wanting to settle for less. Like, I don't feel like I have to prove anything to anybody except myself. You have to be your own motivator. You have to be your own critic and you have to be your own hype man. What are some advice you can give to people that are, that are new to uh, your form of music? Um, take yourself seriously, but not too seriously. Like, obviously have fun, but don't make a cartoon out of yourself, especially if you're POC, because, like, as POC in this fucking country, I'm talking about the United States of fucking America, we've been literally caricatured, we've fucking been made into cartoons this entire life. You don't have to act like a fucking dumbass just to kiss ass to a bunch of white punks. You don't have to do that shit. Just be yourself and fucking respect yourself, respect each other. That's all I gotta say. As long as you respect yourself, then you'll do good. And obviously, take positive criticism, have an open mind, because no matter how good you are, there's always gonna be somebody that's better at you, or better than you at whatever the fuck you're doing. So actually be open to criticism, learn how to be a better person. What is, uh, what is your story getting into uh, Hong Kong Fuck You, man? Uh, so, I used to be in fucking USMC, that's United States Marine Corps, uh, Uncle Sam's Misguided Children. Uh, I got stationed in Japan for about a year, um, did that shit, coronavirus happened, then they moved me to fucking San Diego, that happened. I fucking used to be in a band called Glue with some fucking cokehead ass fucking little white bitch. Uh, he beat the fuck out of me, kicked me out of his place. Uh, fucking Christian, he was also in there. And like, honestly, that dude was so fucking strung up on coke. Me and Christian were the only fucking dudes holding it down when we were playing shows and shit. So like, I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I want to be, I want to make an, an actual band. I want to be part of an actual music project. So Christian had fucking Hong Kong fuck you. And I had a bass. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to do it. I got free time. I had a bunch of fucking days on my leave saved up. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go fucking play in Hong Kong fuck you. All right. So what are some, what are some last words you want to say for this interview? Um, don't be a fucking hype beast. That's it. Yeah, don't be a fucking hype beast. If, like, you gravitate towards shit because it's cool, then fucking revaluate yourself. Like, shit shouldn't be cool to you just because other people think it's cool. It should be cool because you actually think it's cool. All right, man. Yo, Zuko, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, put the Zuko on. Yeah, but so what is So what is the band that you're trying to, uh, trying to get out there, man? Uh, so... I, I sing and I fucking write all the music in this project called Basuko. It's based on like Japanese hardcore from the 1980s. I'm talking like Cums, Gauze, Gudon. It's not the 80s, but it's it's pretty much like it. a fucking death side, you know, shit like that. All right, is there is there any plans for this band you're in? Uh yeah. So we already have a fucking uh, EP out. It's fucking currently being pressed by. Under the Gun Records based in Los Angeles, California. Uh, we got a two, well, we have two songs, but the other band has two songs. So it's a four song split with SOH, that's Systems of Hate, also from Los Angeles. That's being fucking recorded, mixed, and mastered by 1753 based in Boyle Heights. That's it? Uh, yeah, just check out the band. We're on all the stream platforms. Ugh, Spotify, that's Basuko, B-A-S-U-K-O. The name comes from fucking Colombian cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that too. Fuck yeah, man. Um, You know my Instagram, right? No. Oh, 